Okay, so uh, I've run into a little tiny problem. How are we topping last week? Eh, I'm sure life finds a way. Hello, my name is Shadow Girl Lane, and welcome to the Ocean League, Season 4, Week 2. We are fighting Coach Septile and the Seattle Sigilists. That's not a Septile, it's a Sigilith! It's a bird! How do you get these things confused? Anyway, we are currently 0-1, oh, and I believe so is he. Nope, he is 1-0 oh, plus 3. But that's fine, because we have a plan. Unfortunately, he's the guy... Remember how I said we wanted Garchomp round 1, but he took it from us? This is the guy that took it, and we want revenge! Fortunately, we have a plan. Step 1, kill the Garchomp. Step 2, Regio-like just wins. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Look... And this, this game plan. First things first, the Rose Raid. If he doesn't bring Toxtricity, which is a likely possibility, then we are free to set up the Toxic Spikes. The good old fashioned Toxic Spikes. Not only that, this thing outspeeds a good chunk of his team. Some nice outs. It has some nice outspeed matchups here. Plus, it is a Milotic Killer. So this thing will be a deadly threat indeed. And hey, if we can- and hey, the sooner we toss that Porygon too, the better. Next up, Regieleki. If Garchomp dies, this wins. It's that simple. We'll have to play it with- now that'll be a tough thing to play around, but I think we have a way to deal with it. Next up is Roger. I should need to explain why Roger's here. He may be weak to Garchomp, but he can still take it on. Also, Diancy, but Diancy's taking the week off because matchups concerns. Now, it is a problem that Milotic exists, but would Milotic even come with mods like Regieleki and Rosemead as major threats to his team? Maybe, but we'll see. Next up, Cinderace is coming. Still only Blaze, that didn't change from last week. But we have some powerful stuff here. Power Ball, U-Turn, Gunk Shot, Sucker Punch. Pretty good. It's also our main Azelf killer. What speed does that zone hit again? Hold on, am I stupid? No one else is allowed to answer this. Okay, good, I'm not. It is an Azo killer. As that was one of the main things I could stop Rose Raid from being itself. Next up, the glass tree here. This is a Garchomp killer. He ch now, I was gonna run Oka Berry or even a Salt Vest, but surprisingly, it does just fine. The main thing it has to worry about is actually. Stone it from Garchomp, so I gave it the Charty Berry to play around that little threat. Once it does that, it will easily kill anything. Not only that, both P2 and Clefable will die to its coverage moves. And it may be slow, but I told you, we have the fastest and the slowest in the universe. You see that teleport, Claydol? That's that thing is teleport, if you couldn't tell. I mean, Trick Room. <laughs> yes, teleport's the main thing of the show here. Aye, aye, aye. It's also our main rapid spinner, should we want to do that, because I don't want Regieleki doing that. I just want Regieleki on with the game status. Plus, if, if, I get, if I can get a Trick Room up, mods are gonna die under Roger. How I blow up our chances? We have cheese, but the good cheese. The stinky, stinky cheese. Let's get right into the games. Well, 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 we are back. Let's see what he didn't bring. No P2, no, he has no Rapid Spinners, no Toxtricity, and no Porygon 2. Interesting, you're yeah, interesting indeed, okay. So, we are free to get up T-Spikes at our earliest convenience, preferably. Though it only will affect two, maybe three months, but I doubt he's gonna, I doubt he's unaware Clef, he has to be Magic Guard. Now then, as for his lead, he could easily lead the Azelf, and I could just lead Roger and click double Iron Bash. We will, in fact, be we will take a chunk from Rough Skin Recoil. But as it stands. Yeah, we'll still do 90% to it. Honestly, if we can get this thing under 20%, I feel like he just wants the game. Then again, he prob there's no way he doesn't have a counter message specifically for Regieleki. He's probably a Scarf Aerodactyl. That that's my bold claim of the day. 
Regardless, I see no reason. If he leaves my Lodic, he leaves my Lodic. But I am going to just... Honestly, no. There's no way he doesn't leave Garchomp. Considering how deadly the threat of Volt Switch Regia like he is, he has to lead it. There's just no timeline where he doesn't do that. So I'm gonna leave. Or do I leave Blast Trainer? We're gonna start at the battle and I'm overthinking this. Aye, aye, aye. This is why you go in with a pre-established plan. This is why you gotta make a plan. And before I continue, I'd like to say that uh, Dashing's channel will actually be linked in the description below. That's right, according by his own admission, he'll also be doing this league, and I would more I'd be more than happy to get his perspective on this whole game. Because I'm gonna leave Mel Metal. I'm overthinking this. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm not gonna think, I'm just gonna put my hands down. If he wants to lead Scizor, then jolly good show you predicted me like a book. Wait. Now then. As for what he could do... Mm -hmm. There's no way he doesn't leave the Garchomp here, right? Because if he leaves anything else, I could just easily leave Regieleki and pick up a free kill, or just easily switch out to Claydol, which would be obvious. He has to leave Garchomp here, at which point some things were taken eyes will crash to the head, but we can basically just figure out a set and get some chip damage, despite the obvious Milotic switching. Although, if he goes with Milotic... He may just lead, he may just switch into Azelf, or rather double into Azelf, predicting us to go into Rose Raid. But I'm overthinking this. Let's get into the duel right now. Any minute now. Should I just hard cut to it? Nah, I won't. I, I won't, I won't do that. I, I, I'm not going to do that. Don't you worry. Hmm. You know what, while he's doing that, I may just check Twitter, but that's, that's too disrespectful. Nah, 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 nah. But well, I am happy not to see Porygon 2. I'm happy that I can actually set up T-Spikes, because if T-Spikes goes down, then Glastrio can actually have some fu- no, Scizor. I got too excited, I thought too far ahead, despite me doing that the entire duel so far. Honestly, I probably could have brought, uh... Nasty plot, nasty bad here and gotten some pretty good results from that. But then again, something's just too threatening. Like, uh... Looking back, I probably should have done that. I probably should have gotten Nasty Bad here. Hmm. Well, food for thought. Food for thought. Now then, looking at my team composition, probably said GLA Chef. Looks like it's time to start. Wow, we're eight minutes in, and the battle's not even started yet. <laughs> but if I'll just timestamp the start of the battle. He led as- I could have led by Jaleki! Okay, 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 okay. For me, the, the plot device. And with every good plot device, it clicks buttons. Now, would he? No, he's gonna lead a. He might be a Gen 4 set with the Stealth Rock Suicide lead. Which I wouldn't be too opposed to, honestly. We do take an explosion to the face. If he even wants to run explosion, which he probably would, honestly. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, that's standard timid. Not life one though. Huh, probably Sash. Alright then. Given the circumstances, I see no reason not to go into Cinderace here. He's gonna fire blast again. If he wants to do anything else. Even if he wants to click side shock here predicting us, we can take it. He psychics here. Uh, I see no reason not to YouTube here. Gain some free. We either kill the Azelf and give him momentum, or he switches out. And he goes Aerodactyl. That's fine. That's fine. Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Hmm. Do we take a Stone Edge with the Charty Berry? Okay. 
I may have made a mistake here. You see, that's why I said it was such a big issue. Hmm. Wait, wait, I'm afraid to go on the Roger right now. The boy Roger! I like this guy. Alright. No, I need it. I just got a double iron fist. He goes in the Claudius, the scissor. That's fine. I should have known he'd been Rocky Helmet. I should have known. Hmm. Well, it's not taking any more hits, so I'm just gonna throw in the glass tree here and let it go down. Nice glass tree, you died. Thank you for your service, but now you're dead. As it turns out, people die when they are killed. That's how death works in this world! Except, this is Pokemon, you just get knocked down. You'll be back by me three. Maybe. I don't know who we fight me three. We'll see. We'll see. In due time. In due time, we'll see. So what he does next, he's hoping to get on a like, U-turn out, which we will gain free momentum in this. If he wants to roost up, that's fine. We're just gonna kill ourselves, making sure that he can't heal. So go on, roost again. I will get Scizor to kill. Nope, let's go down. Um... Hmm. We're just gonna go into Cinderace here and click the funny button. Any chip damage is good damage. Yep, he burns with Life Orb. He's Flame Orb, I mean, not Life Orb. Life Orb, my Lodic. Let that sink in. Hmm. Wait, no, this is bad. Rose Raid. Well, we, we can't put it to sleep now. Oh, this is bad. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm. We do still kill here. Anyway. Cinderace. Cinderace! Powerball did. Huh. Neat. Oh, wait, is that him being burned? That is healthy. Huh. Neat. He's gonna flip turn out, that's fine. Hmm. Although now Rose right or now my Lord's not gonna be taking much damage anymore, at the very least. There is a situation. Where we get out of this alive. I just need to think ballsy here. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just say screw it and throw down the gauntlet. Not actually. No, I still... You know what? I'm gonna let this thing go down. This thing can die. We're, picking up, we're gonna pick up a kill here. Well, no, he could go Aerodactyl here. But the odds of him being Scarfed are actually high. You know what? If he is... If he goes to Aerodactyl here, I'm gonna go play it all and set up the Trick Room. And then push the funny button. Nope, goes Bluff! Okay, I'm gonna fade out the Scizor here. Which one? He's gonna go into the scissor here. We switch out. No, he's gonna. Would he? Would he risk us going into Cinderace? No, he just hard U turn out. At which point we're actually gonna thunder punch on the scissor switch in. Because why would he risk it? 
Huh, I'm just gonna go hard my loader here. Okay, Mel Metal. My loading. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna hard switch here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a big brain move. He's gonna go. There's no way he doesn't go Garchomp here. There's no way. There is just no way. I'm gonna hard out into Plato here. Yeah, he had to go Garchomp here. Now could now would he stay in? I think he's gonna Well at this point he's gonna Alright, the trick room. Now let the funniest button you've ever seen pressed! This is the funny but I just got it. <laughs> Go on! Show me the Clefable! You fool! Now, the best part of funny buttons... Okay, last time... Why would you stay in? Who stays in? There's no way he does it a second time. There's no way he does it a second time. WHO DOES IT A SECOND TIME?! There's no way he does it a third. There is no way he does it a third time. WHY?! I mean, we didn't get 6 would But okay then. But who stays in three times against the Mel Metal? Who does that? Who actually does that? Okay, A's health. Well, this hurts my head. Well, now, does he have the energy ball? He might have energy ball. Shadow ball, we live! Okay, take two! Let's see you switching! Knowing I'm getting Thunder Punch here, he might go in the guard shop to attempt to waste Trick Room turns. Yeah, he's probably gonna waste Trick Room turns by going in the guard shop. He could also let Azov go down, which he does do. Alright, that's fine. The real MVP here is played a lot, honestly, for setting up the Trick Rooms. But this just proves the potency of Trick Room strategies. With mods like Melmetal, it can be done. It can, in fact, be done. Hmm. Play for the crit. Heart of the cards, this bastard! Heart of the cards, this bastard! You know what, he's gonna... Huh. Honestly, I need to just play more offensively. I need to play offensively. He's gonna go guard jump here. Just throw in the Reggie Bolt. Who? Who do that? What the dog doing? He read me like a fuck. Oh my gosh, this game's over. It's all ogre. Just gonna blow up on this guard shop and just double funny bash for game. We got played. I overpredicted way too much. It's gonna be one of those seasons again. We'll find us try eventually. Oh well. Oh well. That is personally fine. And I, I played too risky. 
I should have just double iron bash turn one, but I say that was a good play to not do it, honestly. We got owned! Now, who do we fight next week? Alright, Coach Iris, the District Armanitans. See you guys next week. We got played!